Let the clap. Yo, what's up, All everybody? Right. We don't actually have the clap. That's not what I meant. Sorry, guys. I think um, you said that last time. Did I? Fuck, yeah. I'm, I'm getting less and less original every time here. Yo, what up? We're in Duluth. Check it out. We're on. We're, a- we're ruining the vibe in the hotel room right now, bro. We're, <laughs> we're on a bed in a hotel room yeah. in Minnesota. This is podcasting how, for you. This is how our life you. Yeah. is like mostly on tour. This is how we sleep. Pretty much two it, dudes yep. in a bed together. Yeah. Ass to ass. <laughs> it's better than ass to mouth. <laughs> toe to head. What, what is it from Seinfeld where it's like... I don't know. I haven't watched Seinfeld for years, <laughs> they, man. They sleep uh, like the opposite way or something. Oh, that that could be even worse. Like if like and you one person head face. down here, the other person head up here kind of thing? Yeah, and then you just get kicked oh, in the face. Yeah, that would suck, man. Just have to smell feet. Just like, have Jimmy legs all night kicking the shit out of Jimmy it? legs? Jimmy legs is like a... I think it's like a condition that you can get. Oh, shit. Where you're, or no, that's resting... <laughs> That's restless, restless legs. Leg. Okay, what is this Jimmy legs? Jimmy legs is the derogatory term for restless legs. Oh, is it? I, I don't I know. I didn't know no. that. Wow. Jimmy legs, maybe I just made that up. I don't know. Jeez. I got the Jimmy legs. <laughs> you creative guy. <laughs> 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 so yeah, we had, uh, what, two days of, was it about 10 hour drives? Slogging away in our drive. Yeah, yeah. So, so we, we left do. Edmonton. It was minus 30. It sucked ass. Mm-hmm. Had to leave early. So we got three drives. That are all 10-hour drives, but we've been making pretty good time. We're doing all right. I mean, we've done way worse. What was it? It was four, four days of 12-hour drives. That's insane. On our tour. Why would we ever do American that? American tour last year. It's absurd. In order to bring the shred to- Hey, Jono, will my laptop just people. turn off? It won't do it while it's recording, will it? Shit. Hey, let's it, try it and find out. black. Uh, camera's still going, I'm sure. You might have to do the setting where it's like, yeah, yeah, we're good. All right. Sweet. We're in business. We should accomplish. Some, some Minnesota beer. What do you, what do Dude, you got over there? I got there, this Dan? fucking hog of beer. Look at this <laughs> thing guy. thing is chonky, bro. This is a uh, Hops Brewing. Dean. Hoops Brewing. Sorry. Hoops Brewing. <laughs> Yeah, clearly it says Hoops, not Hops. Couple of I was going to say, what a dumb name for a brewery. Hops Brewery. I think there's got to be a thousand of those. I'm there's looking over here because Jono and Tim are lying over here. They are. We only have two mic inputs. Yeah. So yeah, we're uh, we're on the mobile we're mobile shit. mobile podcast for y'all this time. Uh, what do I got? I got a blackberry, raspberry, and coconut sour ale called Super Squishy. Check it out. It's got a cool label. You know. Damn, dude. I do, I do oh, it has the it has the pedo triangles on it, dude. The fuck is that? It's got the FBI pedo triangles. Is that what that is? Yeah. Jesus Christ. They have there's there's like a thing. There's like, I don't even know if it's real. Look at this guy's face too. Dude, it's a pretty sus I beer. Know, I don't know if you guys can see that. He's a guy with a pretty There's like face a, a an FBI memo that came out that was like here's symbolism that's been linked to like uh pedophile, pedophile. groups and and shit like that. I mean, I don't know if it's actually real or not, but I think and so. And it's just triangles. Oh yeah, one of them's like a triangle. Triangles are pretty dynamic shape, though. Like, yeah, it's like a triangle with like a swirl in the middle. It's like supposed oh, to be. Oh, we, we ain't got no swirls here. I think I'm safe, dude. No one can use. No one can use triangles anymore. Well, that sucks. Confirmed. So yeah, and then we had a border crossing. Triangles. Nothing but good things to say about the border crossing. <laughs> so that yeah, a bunch if, of great guys. If they ever watch this, it'll be, you know, we really appreciate their diligence. Let's say. Yeah. They were making sure in that making sure that we they keep the were, garbage out. We were yeah, we were the right <laughs> guys to come in and be cool dudes in this country. Holy crap. Instead of bad guys from a different country yeah. Yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah. They they you know I'm they, saying? they made sure. Let's just say they made sure that we were okay. Yeah. I'm, they could have taken it further, like and I'm kinda glad they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So they asked us. <laughs> they were like they had us one by one go into this different room and and then question us about stuff which we haven't done before. Okay, so to be it was, just, it was a little nerve wracking. To be first. to be fair, so what happened was we went through the border crossing that Tim did not want to go through because we've had because historically we've yeah. had a hard time at that one, and I was like, nah, it'll be different this time. And then we were there for like an hour today. Tim's suspicions were right, but we made it. So it was better than the last time, though. But the lady did last, last make time. a point of like snapping her gloves yeah. before being like, you guys have to go to this room. And yeah. we were like, yeah. oh. I was the first one they called. <laughs> they're like, Peter, and they, and come with me, please. And they're like, the back room. 
uh, first right, then a second left or whatever. So I go in there, and as I'm following this lady, she's snapping these rubber gloves onto her <laughs> hand. I'm like, no, this is Dude. not going to be one of those fucking horror stories, please, right? There's no way. It, <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Like, I bet they did that on purpose just to be like, oh, okay, we're back in. Are we good? All right. so I'm we, not we didn't sure. Lose any of the older stuff, do we? Yeah, I think we might have lost a little bit of it. Oh, bit of a hiccup here. We're, yeah. we're using a bit of a new setup on the road here. So computer turned itself off for some uh, reason. Mm-hmm. Dork computer got tired, got sick of hearing shit. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. Yeah. Border guys. Border guys. Border guys goofing on us big time. Yep. But they let us through. They, they let did. us pass. They let us through. Yeah. They asked me if. Uh, uh, have you ever used any recreational drugs? I was like, fuck, I don't know if I should say, because, you know, it's weed's legal in Canada, you know, I've dabbled. So it's like, I, but I was like, I probably, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say anything. So I was just, I was just like, uh, yeah, like, like beer? <laughs> and they're like, okay, okay, okay. Should I be- bleep all of this out just in <laughs> case it can be taken on record in some way? Oh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. Says here on your podcast, because what if the border agents got into the podcast? They're like, oh, it's Stryker. Oh. Then they go and they're like, you know what? This podcast is pretty good. Yeah. And then they listen to this one and they're like, I knew that fucking guy was lying. I knew he smoked. And then the Apache blood. helicopter comes and blows us to smithereens while we're on the road here tomorrow. Shit. And the album's only like half done. We did see a fucking badass helicopter today. We did. And, and two a tanks. tanks. A couple tanks. Very yeah. sick. We also saw a missile silo. Yeah. We were. Three missile we, there was three of them. I still saw. I saw a bunch of deer. I only saw. Oh, we one. saw a fucking turkey on the on the highway, dude. Yeah, big ass turkey out there. It's huge. Um, <laughs> man. So we were like, in theory, we were what like thirty feet. No, maybe like fifty feet away from a nuclear bomb. That's today. That's fucked up, dude. Maybe three times. <laughs> like, that's crazy, man. So you're gonna wake up tomorrow with like an extra toe. Dude, maybe it'll just maybe our album will be even more insane because we'll have like nuclear nuclear influence brain tumors that are making us very creative. Oh, cool. Yeah, sweet. You never know, man. <laughs> Could be. Fuck. Josh will be like, oh my God, you guys are you guys are going nuclear. It's hard to it's hard to talk to you guys because you have tumors in your brain <laughs> from nuclear exposure. <laughs> it's really difficult for me to record I'm, you guys. I'm, I'm pretty sure that. No, that's just from being you, Canadian. You, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I don't understand a word you guys are saying. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, you don't get exposed to any of the dangerous stuff when it's still inside an undetonated bomb, though. I'm, I think probably pretty all right. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I've never been around a nuclear warhead before, so I don't know. What's. Yeah, I don't really know that much about nuclear bombs, so I guess I don't really. Yeah, me neither. I, I mean, know. they sound kind of shitty. Like, really? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I know it splits an atom, and then that yeah. releases like an insane amount of energy or something like that. Too but much energy. Yeah, too much energy for its own good, and then it explodes. Yeah, and then shit gets fucked up hard. Yeah, dude, yeah. I've I've been to that site in Hiroshima. Oh, sh- oh shit! Really? Yeah, I, the, there's a, it's uh it's like a I think it's a national. It might be a UNESCO site now. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong, shit. but it's it's definitely like an important heritage site. And the building that the bomb actually landed on is partially still there, and they've they've kept it and maintained it. And wow, yeah, you can walk around it, and there's all this information about it and and stuff. And is it radioactive still? No. You know, it was oh, shit. apparently you weren't allowed to go close to it for you know quite a few years after it, but it's fine now. Um, it's been checked out, and but th- but there's like a museum, and you can go in, you can um, learn about it all and stuff. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's wild. So, um, what are the vibes like there? Somber vibes. Yeah, it's it's dark for sure, man. And it's like, but I mean, those are the only people in the world really who have experienced the devastation of a of a, of a nuclear bomb really That's right true. yeah so and i mean if if you want to hear what it's all about maybe maybe you should ask some old japanese people how bad it sucks because i don't think we should be repeating that kind of shit in the world i don't know fuck i don't know you think they'll be you think someone yeah, there's all this talk about nukes and stuff i know, you know? man it's pretty cold scary. wars heating up isn't that a megadeth lyric Cold are heating up again. Could be. I think it Sounds is. Sounds like a thing Megadeth would do, yeah. 
<laughs> I read something one time too that was like thrash metal culture was partially born out of you know the fear of nuclear nuclear war and and because you know a lot of thrash metal bands think about that kind of shit, right? Yeah, maybe that was just because it was like the hot top, the eighties yeah. Cold War type shit going on. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it is it is a treasure trove of lyric ideas. Yeah, definitely. If you don't want to have to sing about your own personal life, you can definitely conjure up some shit about war. You can sing about a rotten egg air of death. Yeah. yeah. One of the... Wrestling your nostrils. One of the... I could have... One of the best misery <laughs> lyrics. You guys go back and listen to that lyric. It's pretty bad. <laughs> rotten egg air of death. Yeah, but just say that as fast as you can, and uh, by sounds, yourself sounds a little suggestive, and and just see what that sounds like. And then what's the mega? Uh, what's the Metallica one that sounds kind of fucked up? I don't know. They got a bad one. Yeah, they got one. Of uh, something feeling restless now. Oh, fear of living on natives. Natives getting restless now. Yeah, yeah. Mutiny in the air. Got some death. This sanitary of so that lyric. Yeah. Um. If you just weren't quite listening, it sounds a little like something else. Really? Yeah, so, yeah. Fun really fact. Really <laughs> really really oh, shit. <laughs> I've always loved that Megadeth lyric, and I've always praised it for being creative because you could just say that something stinks, or you could say that it wrestles your nostrils. Like that, that that's, that's pretty colorful. I always language. thought it was rusts out. No, it's wrestles. So yeah, wrestles, wrestles your nostrils. Dang, that's dude. It's like sometimes farts wrestle my nostrils. Bro, you guys want to hear something sad and disgusting? Sure. So, I I pick up. Okay, so Tim came to my place and we got in the van. I had to go back inside. I came back out. First thing Tim does when we start driving, shit himself. Oh no! And it's minus thirty. <laughs> all the windows are frozen shut. They will true, not come down. True. That was the worst thing. <laughs> then. Oh, Jonah walks in front of the camera. Then. <laughs> when we picked up Pete, it was my turn. Yeah. To blast. Oh. <laughs> so I hit Pete with it. Yeah. And then we picked I, up I, I Jono. I, I retaliated Pete pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Right before Jono got it, it's, it's like, chain like reaction, bro, man. we are actual fucking barn animals. This is so <laughs> gross. Welcome to the petting what zoo. What are you doing, man? We just have like no respect for each other anymore. It's so sad. But also, dude. man, I don't want <clears throat> you don't want your friends' tummies to hurt. You know, that's what it's all about. <laughs> that's what it's all about. <laughs> You can't you can't Yo, sit I got in the car mad, for, I got mad respect for my boys' tummies. Yeah, you can't you can't <laughs> sit in the van for twelve hours with a sore tummy, bro. <laughs> I don't want my boys to have a sore tummy. So if the, if the price I have to pay is smelling your <laughs> fucking shit, then whatever, let's so be it. Well, you know, I hate having a sore stomach. It's the worst. Yeah. Well, we all know that farts are stored in your stomach and piss is stored in the balls. Yes. So like that 100%. makes sense that it would hurt. In yeah. your stomach, yeah. right? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, in my, in my gutter, guttural area. Man, let's talk about the fucking burrito that Tim just ate. That thing was a monster, okay. dude. So we go into the okay. There's only first of all, there's only one Chipotle in Duluth where we're staying right now, and uh, I knew immediately that it would be insanely crowded because if there's only one in the city, I bet it's fucking jammed. Because usually they're pretty busy anywhere. Yeah, your prediction was uh, pretty bad. So it was yeah. pretty, yeah. They were obviously like in the heat of getting obliterated by some sort of rush. And yep. um, barely fit in the door. Yeah. So we get in there. Tim orders a burrito. And the dude, like, no, I think it's fine. Me. John is having a shower. You guys want me to take the camera? Wanna, I'll take the camera in there, the camera sneak in it under the door, or what? <laughs> no. Um, so, so this guy, this young guy working there, who's like the second half of the burrito assembly line, is <laughs> getting you know Tim's shit for him. You know, the first guy put on like the regular amount of stuff, and then this kid, like, he grabbed what I can only describe as like a baseball amount <laughs> of cheese, and just went like. A full scoop and put that onto 
his burrito. Then he was out of lettuce, so he's kind of freaking out. So he went back to the back, and I already I looked at Tim's bur- burrito without the lettuce on it, and was like, "That's fucking enormous! Like, yeah, there's no way anything this else in there." Guy's gonna roll this up. He comes back. He puts on like two handfuls of lettuce and proceeds to try and roll up an impossible amount of food. I'm like, you could just eyeball it and see. Did he have just like way bigger hands than the other guy or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because the boss is like, yeah, they take a handful of this and a handful of that, but this guy's hands are like monstrous. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. It's crazy. It's like, of all the things, like you'd think the guy who's scooping it might put too much on, but yeah. anyways, this then then he proceeds to try and roll it up, immediately cracks the burrito, like the, the tortilla. The tortilla yeah, show. yeah, yeah. So fucks that up. And then their solution to that was... Just get another tortilla shell and yeah. wrap it. <laughs> yeah. wrap it. But then he, like Tim was saying. It's he, like when you're taking out the trash, man, and you <laughs> get a hole in the bag, bag. You just put it in another bag. It's fucking. <laughs> so he, he fucking, he re-rolls it in a new tortilla shell, but the same exact way. Like you would, you would think that you would. Mm. Yeah, try a different technique, maybe. The, like. So he was two, both of the broken one and the new one were there, and he was like, you would you would think you would like kind of position it so that it would cover the other one. The whole, he just did it yeah. the same way again. Oh god! But he got it in there somehow, and then I don't I don't know. Okay, Anyways, geniuses. the the size of this thing, holy fuck! Just a monster. Yeah, that was crazy. That was like as big as his head. Yeah, pretty much. Tim's got a big ass head, boy. Little, Tim got a big ass head, head, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when I tried to put my hat on his head once, and it was like impossible. Just exploded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was fun to watch Tim gorf that down. Yeah. Yeah. What do you have? I said like the bowl. The bowl, yeah. The bowl. Those bowls are decent, man. I remember the first time we went to Chipotle, I didn't even know they had bowls. So I didn't like it as much. And then we went again, and I saw bowls, and then I liked it a bit Some more. people don't like burritos. I like them. It's just not. Well, I mean, I like them. I just didn't. I never buy them. I, I've I always know. fucked with burritos since day one. I think I like. Tacos I've been a ride or die burritos. burrito boy <laughs> since yeah. day one. Yeah, I think I'd rather have a taco than a burrito <laughs> for sure. But it depends on the day too. I mean, yeah. Burrito is a piggy food though. That's like a. It's a big. It's, sloppy it's hard to get like a small rat. burrito. Yeah, because just like the nature of it is like sort of lends itself to being enormous and being this massive so it thing. is like a pig out type of food for sure instead of making tortilla wraps they should just make tortilla bags do you think it'd just be like a cylinder <laughs> with like an actual sealed bottom then you could just take all the shit and pour it in and you just tie a knot at you the just top twist the top like with a bread twist or whatever <laughs> give it to the customer dude don't go. give these ideas away for free on the yeah, podcast dude. True, you can keep yeah, these to yourself yeah. <laughs> tortilla bags i'm on to something here i'm going to the patent office tomorrow god damn i need a bagged burrito man that'd be sick you wouldn't you wouldn't all the shit wouldn't fall out the other end you know you wouldn't have yeah. to hold the full it'd be like a the whole um, time. you'd be like a beer cozy yeah but made out inside. of but made out of tortilla, tortilla. <laughs> yeah <laughs> That'd be so idea. fucking funny. God damn. Like a whole new thing. Could you wouldn't be. even it need to work. put like a lid on it. You could just, that would be the part you start eating. Exactly. You serve it to people standing up straight. Yeah. Yeah. It'd you be a real just gimmick like, thing. Yeah. You could stick it right on the table and it would stand up itself. You wouldn't even have to use your hands. You could put your hands behind your back and just kind of eat your way down to the table. <laughs> God damn <laughs> it. <laughs> could be fun. I don't know. They'd have to start to have burrito bag eating contests. Shit. Yeah, I I did a hot dog eating contest once. <laughs> no fucking way, really? I th- yeah, I thought it would be easy. It was. We did it how many? Band. How many did you eat, dude? I barely got any. I thought I was gonna do pretty good. It's like it's just a fucking hot dog. It's a bun and a piece of wiener. It's like you put a bit of ketchup and mustard on it, and you give her. Um, and we had this huge plate of them. <laughs> no, you and- dip it in water and scarf it down like a pelican, bro. Ooh, that's not. That's probably good technique. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't do anywhere near as good as I thought I would do. I was like, I bet you I can. I bet you I can nail like seven or eight. I, I think I ended up eating like four, and then I was like, this fucking sucks. I can't eat any more of this garbage. But this guy on our team, like, um, he was he did crazy. He had like something like thirteen or fourteen fucking hot dogs, and he's just like, I can't do fifteen. Oh, so it was, it was pretty crazy. I was impressed. 
I've always wondered. I, I think I've only done one like eating challenge, and there was like a restaurant in Edmonton that had like a you could, the burger. It was like a a double burger, and then it had like a grilled cheese on both sides. And if you oh, finished it, it was free. No, I, if you finished it, you got a shirt. Oh, or your picture on the wall or something. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah it was yeah. like I think it was literally you just got a shirt. Okay, that was okay. it. And I got the shirt. Cool. Never wore it. Yeah, like a triple XL shirt or something <laughs> like that. From eating, that's like I remember buying a a um a case of boxer beer once because it came with a free shirt. Oof. And the shirt was just trash. And the beer was trash. <laughs> and the beer was also yeah. trash. And I was like, that was dumb. Why did I do that? Boxer beer is like so you can taste like there's a certain cheap taste yeah in in the really cheap beer yeah and it is not nice they did have a different version out though because you know how they got the white one right the white with the kind of stripes on it yeah it's total garbage beer right all right i don't know my sure. computer is being a shitter I'm not sure what's going on there crazy uh, it's untested chit territory well now that we're back i guess i don't need all the plugins enabled right now to record two fucking audio tracks but yeah, well, you got, like, fucking JST Maximizer on there? Or what? All kinds of shit. Yeah, <laughs> do, I think. Oh, yeah, on your laptop? Yeah, it's maybe it's, I mean, it's a new, it's like the M1 thing, so. It's a, it's a dope plug-in. It's good. Yeah, maybe I should fucking, whatever, I'll just let it go. Sweet. I'll just fix it. I, I got a new beer. This was actually my favorite beer, the first tour I did with you guys in the States. I, I had one, and I got really excited about it and drank it a lot. The hazy little nice. thing I Tim's paid. got up. Hey, sorry, like Tim. What was the update on the on the price of beer? Yeah, eighteen dollars for how many of them? Eighteen bucks for no. forty eight Bud Lights. But it could be so. Even if it's twenty four, even if it's 24, so twenty twenty four beers for eighteen, possibly forty eight. I think we should move to the states, you guys. <laughs> Dude, our Bud Light bill would be significantly. Decreased. I think lots of things are cheaper down here, man. the the, oh, yeah. is che- the beer is cheaper. Um, a lot. I, th- I think a lot of the food is cheaper. Um, I don't know. Is gas cheaper? Usually, I think so. I think it's just you know it's a bigger country with more people, so they got more manpower to get everything done, so they can sell it for yeah, less. Man. Right. America is pretty dope. I mean, like yeah, America's America's I all think, right. Man. I think America's pretty cool. Yeah, I like coming down here. Um, for sure. Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of problems in America. Dude, there's a lot of problems in Canada. There's but, a lot of problems everywhere, man. But <laughs> you're not gonna get away from that. I think it's not a bad place. Yeah, man. I I like coming down. I think here. it's like easy to take shots at the fucking top dog, right? Well, yeah, because it's like it's easy to point out stuff that's wrong with a place that's like, I would say, you know, mostly right for. For some things. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Leader of the free world, yeah, right? Like a lot of people come from different countries and they're just like, yeah, this is way fucking better. Like, I can do anything. Plays I charity. have the opportunity yeah. to, like, you know. The idea of uh, just a, of a free society, man. It's I think it's, I support that all the way. Hell yeah, man. Hell okay. yeah, brother. I'm glad nobody came to my house when I became of age at 13 years old and said... <laughs> You have to be a farmer, and you don't have a choice. And that's what you're gonna do for the rest of your life, or you're going to jail. Um, and I w- would not like that. Bro, why is our phone? The hotel ringing? phone is ringing. What's going on? We don't know anybody here. We podcasting too loud? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Wow, really? What time is it? Because they're fucking. You think streaming? I should think yeah. I should answer it on answer the podcast? It on the- you ready? Yeah, let's see. Here we go. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, um, I don't think so, but I'll come check. <laughs> oh, okay. Is it is it a suitcase? What color? Black one. A feral one. Okay, that's mine, okay, dude. We're coming to check. Who left my fucking bag? Thank you. <laughs> what? No, Dan's I didn't bag. bring it inside. I brought it inside and I put it oh, in the it- thing, but like because I brought it. Everybody oh, shit Oh, and then nobody I brought figured, it. Oh, yeah, shit. That would have been shit. Yeah, sorry. I don't know whose fault that is. <laughs> anyway. So what happened was Pete, I brought Pete a bunch brought of, people a bunch of bags in, in yeah. and then I thought I didn't see it when I came back yeah. in after because I went back out to get some other shit. I just brought my own shit into the room <laughs> from the lobby. I guess I could have checked. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, dude. 
She was nice enough to call us. Hey, I'm, is this yours? It has a pharaoh on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that's yes, it is. No mistake there. You can't. Yeah. yeah. I always think it's like funny that I have that because I think it's a little bit like, I don't know. It's bro Egyptian. Is my is my Xbox still in it? <laughs> you didn't rifle through this thing, did you? No, I'm just I was just joking around. Anyways. So that's fun. I almost lost my bag there. That's sick. Bag with a big pharaoh on it. Or is, this, yeah. is that a pharaoh or is that like King Tut? Yeah, it's a pharaoh. It's like Tut. It's one of the boss yeah. hosses here. Hang on, yeah, I'll man. show you guys. It's a pretty fancy suitcase, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. look at that. Yeah. I've been thinking I need an Iron Maiden sticker to put like right here. Yeah. That would be fucking cool. So you won't miss but that coming out of the airplane. That's, the, that's whatever, why I like you know? it. It's like no one's ever going to. Well, first of all. Yeah. Mine's just covered in stickers. It's so, it's so like identifiable. It'd be like Definitely. easy to watch watch someone walk away with it from the turns to, or uh, the whatever. Yeah. Look. <laughs> we good? This is gonna have so many fucking cuts. Yeah. We have yeah. To I'm gonna have to s- in there. sort this thing out. I'm not sure what's going on with it, but you know, you gotta New iron gear. out New the gear. kinks. It's true. It's true. You do. I just bypassed like all the plugins, so hopefully it'll. Smarten up a little bit. What kind of plugins do you stick on our voices when you make this podcast, Dan? You got a de-esser on there? A little compression, maybe? I don't even remember. No, no much? Yeah. It's it's the regular. There's a little EQ. There's a little... Uh, it's EQ, compression. I think there's a de-esser on there. I'd put a de-esser on. Yeah, and if I was then, doing like voiceover stuff... And I'd then just like a it. limiter on the... Uh, the main thing, and I think it sounds okay. I've heard other podcasts where I'm like, damn, this sounds like shit. Trash. So, I don't know. Maybe that's where you get a little bonus when you get the musicians doing it. Maybe, I Better guess. Sound, yeah, maybe. yeah. Get the audio going. In theory. Um, I think some of them have sounded kind of fucked up, but. Ours? I, yeah. yeah, I don't know, because it comes, I think some of that comes down to like, how like YouTube compresses it and shit like that. I don't know. I guess. But whatever. Maybe. Usually it's okay. You get the. You can still hear what we're saying. That's all that really matters. Yeah, totally, totally, totally. You're not. You're not trying to. Hate. Speaking of lip smacking, so we went. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> we went to uh, the the border thing, and like, we got up pretty early because we want to just like do as much driving as we can during the day. So it's not Power like through, you know, because yeah. I mean that fucking deer on the road on the way here too. Yeah, and driving the, in the night sucks. sucks so, yeah. um. But yeah, I was in there talking to like the border agent guy, and I had had like maybe half a coffee. And that's it. Like, I woke up, brushed my teeth, and then drank half a coffee. And then next thing you know, I'm sitting in a room oh, with this guy yeah. talking to him. Man, my mouth was so dry. I was me just like... Too, me too. Oh my. Plus the nerves. Yeah, yeah, dude. I was like, man, I can't believe how dry my fucking mouth is. I hope he doesn't ask me about weed because I got pasty. <laughs> Why is your mouth so dry, son? Like, oh, shit. I just woke up, mister. Yeah. And you're kind of making me nervous, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> Oh yeah, man. That probably wouldn't be a good thing to tell them that you actually are nervous. That probably wouldn't be good because then they'd be like, Maybe oh, why reverse you psychology. Why are you nervous? Yeah. Get them. Well, because I got two border agents grilling me right now, bro. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I, I, that, that, that was fine because it was like I knew that like if we got turned away at the border, I'd be like really upset because it's like oh, we're sure. we're doing everything exactly right. There's like yeah, literally not nothing. That we're doing that's grounds for us to be turned away. not let yeah. in. Yeah, no, other totally, than totally. I mean, maybe it's just the discretion of the people, and it's like guy doesn't like heavy metal or something. Yeah, you never know. Most of the time, though, I think they're pretty cool. They're like, "Oh, you guys are in a band? Cool." What's yeah, it we, si- we dude, we signed a picture for someone. <laughs> so this one it was one border crossing we did. Once they were like, "Okay, you guys are good to go." The dude was like, you know, uh, Rush just came through here with oh, their sick. like tour bus, and we we're like, oh, sick. And then when are you guys over? Yeah, yeah, it's like, wow, well, we're not. Here's our van. We're not here's our shitter van. And then, um, so you know, they're like, can you guys just wait for a second? So they go, and we're like, what's up? What's up now? They come back. They have printed a picture of the band off. And we signed striker. If yeah, us. oh nice! Like they found our band picture online, printed it off, and got us to sign it for them, which was hilarious. Oh, that's pretty cool! Wow. Hopefully they. It was funny this time around. Like uh, we we get this often in like like when we're on tour and stuff, um, or doing what we're doing now. You know, we, we try to stop at grocery stores. 
to, you know, take bathroom breaks because, you know, you, you can get a bit better food at a grocery store than you can at a gas station. Um, if, if it's a combination gas station and grocery store, it's even better because then you can do both in the same place. But, like, we try to stop at grocery stores to get some food when we can because you probably just get better food, right? Yeah. Um, and um, But we often get, you know, just random person, oh, you guys look like you're in a band. We get, I mean, we get that. A fair bit, and it was interesting this time. It was a bit of a unique one. Is this guy was like across the aisle, and he's like, "Are you guys in a band?" And we we're like, "Oh yeah, actually we are." And he's like, "Cool," and he left. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, and that was didn't like, even say shit because <laughs> usually they say, "Oh, what are you guys called?" or "What's your band name?" or "What kind of music?" And I was like, he just got his answer, and then he didn't want to know anything else. I was like, should I tell him? No, he didn't ask, so I guess not. And it was it was just weird. I don't know. It's funny. I've kind of like grown to like dread the like when you go into somewhere and then someone's just like, "Hey, or what band are you guys in?" And I'm just like, oh, fuck. oh boy, so he probably won't like that shit we do anyways. I mean, maybe they you never know. I mean, lots of time they probably do, but I'm like. I'm just you start like, telling him eh. you're like the backup, ba- backup fucking vocals for Britney Spears or something. Yeah, I should. <laughs> but yeah, yeah okay, we're, fun, we're like fun. we're like Dua Lipa's backup band or something. Oh yeah, Let's we're her choreographers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Taught her everything she we're, knows. We're her personal trainers. Yeah. yeah, all that highly sexualized dancing that you see her do. Yeah, that's all me. Came from his brain. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, speaking of like random, I forgot to bring this up in the van today. You, you maybe not, aren't familiar with the people I'm talking about here, but okay. Um, so I saw a post that Z Laner, who's a Canadian like uh, video game streamer, okay, is doing uh backup vocals or like yeah b- background vocals on Post Malone's new album. Oh shit! It's like damn, bro. Video game, video game, and pop music crossover, bringing people together, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. sick. I was like, "Damn, dude, we gotta we gotta hook up with this fucking Z Laner, Timmy." How do we get uh, <laughs> Doctor Disrespect to do like a hey, this just is, like a yeah, voiceover this, on one of our two, tunes? Those or two something. guys play all the time. That'd be hilarious. It would be sick. Oh yeah, his agent hit him up on the flip phone, man. Yeah, bro. Go. Tim's got pit vipers. That's gotta help. Oh yeah, you see a guy who looks like Tim. <laughs> You're you're gonna want to fucking be affiliated for there you sure. Go. There you go. Yeah, dude. Ladies, John has got his shirt off over here. Oh boy, <laughs> he had his pants off too, but you're too late for that. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> for the. He says it's just for the boys. Yep. Yep. Which, hey, why not? I'll take. We take what we can get. <laughs> 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 These hotels Yours. get lonely, you know what I'm saying? Yours. <laughs> yeah. Out here in Duluth. Removed uh, removed from society. Did you hear what I said weeks about at a time? Oh, dude. Uh yeah, I'm you know, I'm st- What do you guys think? You think I should start up my only feet <laughs> page or what? God, dude. Can I zoom in on this one? Right <laughs> yeah, if you want, I don't care. They're enhance. Bit, enhance. They're a bit gangly, aren't they? Like <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Well, what's better, this side, the top side, or the underside? Who's? What do you think? <laughs> I need your vote. Oh, no, dude. Who do you I guys like the top to... side of my feet or the bottom of my? I think feet I think we talked about how yeah. um, Pete's feet. We we're not sure exactly what makes the feet good in like a foot finish. Yeah, yeah. I have absolutely is no it, idea. Is it the <laughs> is it the shape? Is it the overall like quality of the skin, or is it because they're is it something about dirtiness? Do people like roughed up like, feet? Like, do they know. like calloused feet? I don't know. I don't know. It's do not they worth like going into? Do really. they got to be pretty toenails, or is it like a, a bit of a gnarled nail good? Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> are there people who think Shaquille O'Neal's feet are nice? Because those, things, those are things are probably fucking huge. haggard, dude. Are they? Yeah, You've they're fucking them? rough. Dude, he talks about them all the time. Oh, because he cause he's so big. It's like, yeah, it's massive. impossible to have like your normal feet when you're like fucking enormous. Isn't that like size 18 or something crazy? Yeah, I think he has That's like wild. endless fucking issues with them. So he's like... Got him custom made. Yeah, he's he's always talking about them and they're always showing them on TV and shit. Bro. I wonder if anybody's yeah, got to get gross. custom condoms made because <laughs> they don't fit or whatever. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, is that no? Because re- remember, it was like the, be a thing. The myth about like the remember because they were like, you know, no. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's that's John, an interesting point. Jono says, if if someone has a dick that big, do you think they even use a condom? No. He's, I don't know. He says no. If somebody has one that big, can they even? But I mean, like, can't you put have, like a can't you put a like a condom on your whole leg? Like they stretch like crazy. Yeah, right? that's true. You can blow them up pretty big. Like you ever put one on a muffler of a car <laughs> no. and watch it like blow up? <laughs> it's pretty fun. All right, some experiments we're gonna do in the studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, muffler. And there's condom some downtime. The b- box condoms. Just see what we can accomplish with those. <laughs> <laughs> if you hear a bu- if this album slaps, you know why. It's actually the slapping sound of a condom against something. We put one on the snare drum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, we should gel. Oh, what gels. a good prank that would be. Condom gels. Is is on tour. What? Is to stretch a condom out over over the drummer's snare drum. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would just be fucking hilarious. Because be yeah. the they would sit yeah. down on the stool and be like, "There's a fucking condom on my." If, <laughs> It, it might be funnier to put it over, you know, the the top of the hi hat, like the the pole that sticks up out of the middle of the hi hat. Yeah, that'd know, be just probably like, a name for it. It is a funny thing to do. It would be funny, or All just right. one on every Next symbol. Thing. There you go. Yeah. Put some um, hand cream in them. <laughs> That's so nasty. It's so dull, diabolical. It just might work. It could be good. It could be. Good. That would be a disgusting thing to oh, do. Dude, yeah. Tie him to his drumsticks and we pulls him out. There's just, like, <laughs> just <laughs> condoms around him. <laughs> That's a pretty good prank. We shouldn't be talking about it yeah, all loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we should save it. Oh, man. The the, uh, the tour pranks have been pretty, like, uh, we were pretty told, mild, really. we were actually told not to do them to uh, Beast in Black. Yeah. They were like, we don't think. We asked the tour manager. We had a very mild one, too. We're like, let's dumb it down because, uh, you know, I. I what I were think we I got a do? bit of a feeling that some of them might not appreciate it. What were we going to do? We were just going to walk on stage and like march. Oh, do like a, march Like thing, a train, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, marching yeah. part. We were going to go walk up on stage and march because they do a march during one of their songs. Yeah, the Macarena <laughs> would have been funny. Yeah. fucking slapped. That would have been killer. That would have killed for sure. But we were like, hey, tour manager, can we um, can we just do a quick tour prank at the end of this tour? Can we do something fun? No. Yeah. Dude, she like yeah. low-key was just like, these guys don't like you that much. <laughs> Uh, that's not true, but uh, I th- the the impression that I got was like they're maybe around. too serious of a band to like want to like, fuck no. around with this type of shit. And maybe, like, maybe, All right. could be. I mean, but then again, who knows? Yeah. Maybe we could have done it, and it would have been totally fine. I don't know. Could yeah, be. maybe if maybe we would have done it, we would have made it all the way to the end of the tour. Yeah, could, yeah, 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 I could have been saved from COVID from that. Shit. Fuck. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, that was cut short, that one. Yeah. Piss. I don't know. I thought that was really funny that they didn't want to do uh to do the pranks. And it was sort of like I told her, I was like, sort of not really your your choice. But then <laughs> but then she was like she's like, yeah, okay. Was, eh. She was cool though. I, I We tour prank seven she did a, she does a great so. job of, of TMing, I think. Seven Kingdoms touring with fucking or doing at least Powerwolf a few shows with Powerwolf. Yeah, that's fucking sick. That's a sick slot. Shout to out, get, man! Shout out the squad shout out in to the Seven, Seven Kingdoms, Kingdoms boys and just leveling up. Boy. Yeah, leveling it up. Yeah, that's dope, man. I hope these. Very I hope cool. those guys are having so much fun right now. Yeah, I think they're enjoying the fucking cold. They went up to Montreal and I think got blasted by the cold. Oh, probably they're, they're just in New York too. I think right. It's probably not very warm there right now either. Oh, yeah, they were in Montreal because no, I don't think they, so. They said merci beaucoup on there. Merci beaucoup, yeah. Man. Yeah, merci beaucoup. Bro. Apparently, I heard that there's a, a difference between beaucoup and beaucoup, which is um, very important. Because hmm. I think one means like very much and the other one means something really like dirty. I don't remember what it was, but it's like if you pronounce it wrong, it becomes thank you for like this dirty thing. or I don't know. What's the dirty? <laughs> I don't remember. I'm going to have to ask somebody. Anybody out there who speaks French? Okay, <laughs> listeners who speak French, please enlighten us in the comments or somewhere. What is the difference between... Uh, my pronunciation is probably shit. Boku and Boku or whatever. 
there's there's a joke about it, and if you speak French, you know what I'm talking about. So please tell me what's going on here. Yeah, man. Yeah. I wonder if any of these guys, uh, you think some of these uh, viewers want to see any of the other members or what? I mean, you guys yeah. want to pop in on the pod Somebody or what? Somebody want to pop? Somebody want to swap? Swap and Tim's pop? Tim's brushed his fucking teeth. Tim's no, get it. Don't his... spill. I only oh, have one sweater. No. I only brought one sweater, dude. <laughs> Do not sully my sweater. Dude, I know. It's called I keep a doing sweater. It. I don't know if you guys do this, but if I get like too hot when I'm wearing a sweater and start sweating, I don't want to take it off because I feel like you get cold. My my well, not even that that I'm just going to feel gross like cuz you're then you're in a shirt that's all that. wet yeah, like I under. That. Yeah. So I like and then I just leave it on. And There's also, a few days you take the sweater off and then the cold or the wet shirt underneath. Now I'm cold again. It's cold. Put the sweater back on. Yeah, fuck that. So why take it off in the first place? See, exactly. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's what I'm talking about. I hear, I hear. So fast food options. We we avoided the Taco Bell so far. We might have to hit Taco Bell. Job, no, boys. there's one in Michigan or in Midland where we're going. Uh oh. So. Uh-oh. Well, I think there's three where we go. So we, <laughs> we might be able to sample some of the uh, the TBs and the like type of stuff. Taco Bells. I've never had it before. Right. We did a, uh, for those of you who don't know, which is probably everybody, um, we did a Taco Bell Feed the Beat program thing where we were like sponsored by Taco Bell. Sponsored. But all they did was send us like five hundred dollars worth of gift certificates, and then we gift ate. Cards, yeah. Then we ate Taco Bell like for an entire tour in the U.S. and got <laughs> fat. <laughs> it's like this wasn't good at all. I mean, we yeah, need more healthy sponsors. It, it saved us money, s- but it was like, yeah. oh man, we just. I mean, to be fair, that's our own fault for just eating way too much of it. Taco but Bell? yeah, fair yeah. enough. Um, how, how do we get a sponsor from like lettuce or something? Dude, we're sponsored lettuce by is romaine expen- lettuce dude it's like, expensive as fuck right now lettuce is, yeah yeah, yeah good, good, good produce it. man yeah it's it's gone up it's hard to get good produce man like i'll go okay um the th- my biggest problem with fresh produce these days is it's so goddamn hard to find uh you guys know the japanese r- radish the big long white radish it's yeah. called a daikon but oh da- yeah daikon yeah yeah i mean it's using all kinds of food right and and it's yeah. fucking awesome if you boil the thing in like some soy sauce and sugar and, and shit like and uh it's fucking great and and i eat it all the time but this thing man once it goes rubbery and like you can bend it it's no good anymore and <laughs> ni- <laughs> yeah, yeah. 90% of the time when i go to a supermarket I pick up the thing on the shelf and it's already fucking bendy. How can you sell shit that is no longer good? Or you'll find lettuce that's sitting there being sold, but it's just beat to shit. That's buyer beware, man. That's crazy, man. Got to look at it. Take that shit off the shelf. With produce, you got to look at it, man. You wouldn't you wouldn't sell an expired bag of peanuts, would you? Or uh, peanuts, I don't know, fucking expired fuck? can of tomatoes, I don't know, like fuck. A tomatoes. I mean, anything. You wouldn't yeah, si- we wouldn't sell. We try an not expired to. Expired carton of eggs. Why? Why can you sell an expired? Oh, that guy took a tumble. So, <laughs> a so don't watch the TV. Or basketball. Ball, ball, ball. ball. They're all balls. Whatever. Game where a bunch of guys grab balls. You know, you've seen one ball. You've seen them all. Yeah. <laughs> Until you've seen a Botox ball. I have never seen a Botox ball. I think what that wasn't this? that uh, that was a Dave Chappelle skit, wasn't oh, it? Was or it? like a thing he said Botox he wanted to get in Botox balls. in his balls, and, and so they'd be uh, smooth as eggs. Uh, okay, <laughs> I think I actually remember that. Yeah, wow, Botox. What is actually Botox made out of? Like this, this is a Tim Brown question. Yeah, what what is Botox? Tim, give us your insight on Botox. Yeah, please. Bo- botulism oh, toxin short for that okay so it's a hmm. toxin that you inject and somehow it sucks the wrinkles out of your face it paralyzes your muscles that does not sound good really oh shit i thought it made your like skin smoother or something you can't make new wrinkles 
Wow. Dude, what a dumb fucking thing to do. That's crazy, dude. So, Tim's, like, Tim so said, why would you get it in your balls? Your your balls are already wrinkly, like from birth, man. Dude, you There's can't, nothing you can do about that. Yeah, hang on. You, you, you guys can't hear a, Tim, but he said that yeah. it, oh, yeah. it makes your skin, uh, paralyzes. it paralyzes Paralyze. your muscles so that you can't make the ex- expressions that give you wrinkles. Give you, yeah. show the wrinkles. Right. Which is fucking crazy. That sounds Bro, terrible, dude. Stop getting Botox, you b- moron. <laughs> but you, Botox in your balls would be dumb as fuck, I dude. Did, oh, yeah. Can you make so an stupid. expression with your... Like, do you have... Can you express your emotions by changing the shape of your balls like you do with your face? I'm going to go too far here and say, if you Botox your butthole, would that be, like, way better? Depends on like how much you show your. I guess it doesn't people. actually make it smooth. It just makes it so that you can't wrinkle it, <laughs> dude. It would paralyze the muscles in your butt, so your crap would just oh, fall out, dude. Out. Do not Botox your butthole, please. <laughs> All right. It would either it would either open it wide up and it would stay that way, or it would like wire it shut and it, just, it would stay that way. It's it's like psh, yeah. stays open either way. Gross. I think you want your That's butthole terrible. to be able to move. Yeah. Yeah. Is the sphincter a muscle or is that something else? I think it's a muscle. Is that like a tendon? Sphincter is a muscle, right? Is the sphincter muscle? I don't know. <laughs> Google it for us. You're the one. Jamie, who, pull no, that up. <laughs> Jono, pull that up. <laughs> nah, it's not worth it. It's better to uh, stay shrouded in mystery. Yeah, that's true. You can. This is the part that you can do at home to yeah. uh, find out. Yep. Anyway, so Learn three, about your own three ten hour drives in a row is mm-hmm. and we're we've done two of them. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow's the last one. Not bad. And then and then the day after tomorrow is the first day in the studio. That's true. So we're gonna get in there, we're gonna mix it up, we're gonna get some Get, get some behind the scenes stuff. John still has to learn the songs. John still has to learn how to play double kicks. <laughs> uh roasted. <laughs> Oh, Dan still has to let us sing. That's true, dude. I just, dude, I just self roasted myself. So, because I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm. I always go and look. If I'm bored, I'll go and look at like videos of Striker and look at the comments. And you know, oh, yeah. I Terrible would say ninety nine percent of the time, the comments are pretty good. And then there's maybe good. like a one percent comment that's like something negative mm. and then i'm just like fuck i did see a reason uh a pretty negative well it was it was short and concise but i did see a negative comment recently on what was it it was a live video it was of the Vakken one yeah i think it was the Vakken one Vakken tv put it out and somebody was just like cheesy band <laughs> Yeah, so there was that one, and then there was another care. dude. There was another one that says, well, "I think it's the coolest this band." band the you know, my what opinion. the fuck was the comment? I'm gonna give this person the fucking the the platform they definitely deserve. Uh oh, are we out? We're we're outing them. Are we outing our negative comments? No, I'm Is just gonna allowed? read. I'm gonna read the actual comment. Oh, okay. I think it just said cheesy band. No, there's a new one on that video. That's oh, what, that's there? what I'm talking about. Oh, this is like an episode of Mean Tweets right here. Uh, hang on a second here. Oh, of, that's a great thumbnail, though, dude. Yeah, it's it's great. Yeah. So right under amazing metal festival high from wherever, good style. They need a better singer, though. Are you shitting? Roast. <laughs> For real? John, that was Jono on there. That must have that been. Was, that's that's gotta be a no, joke. It wasn't you? No, that was someone. Um. Maybe the person no, only probably. likes death vocals or something. Who knows, man? Who it knows. it doesn't matter because I read it and it cut me deep into my soul and I'll never be the same. <laughs> I'm constantly reading. Yeah, you, know. I, you know, it's crazy. It, there's something wrong with people in general, I think, because like you can get a thousand comments that are like, this is awesome. And then one negative comment and you're like, oh, I have to, re- I'm a piece of shit. I need to rethink my entire life. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Is this true. guy, does this guy cut through the noise? He's fucking, this guy knows. It's just interesting, you know, how it's much crazy. harder negative negativity hits. Hey, Dude. like, and that's a part of marketing and shit too, right? Like you can use negativity positively in advertising and it, it fucking bangs, man. Oh yeah. It's crazy. 
people like the the negativity, the drama. Yeah. This is just like I was just sitting here on Twitter and we were talking about the videos that are coming up on my Twitter lately are all these crazy videos of like students in high school being super shitty to their teachers. And it's just like why am I entertained by this shit? It's it's stupid. It's lame. It's not fun. It doesn't make me feel better after watching it. Like, why do I even watch it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, that, that video it's of the garbage. That guy who tackled that teacher and like yeah. kicked the shit out Fucking of her. Fucking haymakered her for taking away his switch or whatever. Dude. And then what oh. the craziest part was there were so many people around that did nothing for so long. This dude's like just mm, punching this lady in the back of the fucking but, head. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, if I saw like a a, a, a lady it. get like, I like to think I would. The, the, the dude who tackled was like six six it or was something. Huge man, dude, fucking gigantic yeah. dude. Fucking and like, he, I hope he got fucking big trouble for that, man. Well, he, for sure, it's like yeah. assault. And he was like punching her in the back of the head and stuff. It's like even when she was shit. unconscious, not moving, yeah. and he's like stomping on her, dude. Yeah, that was crazy. Was and I was like, dude, days. if you what saw that, fuck? you would definitely step in. Like, I, yeah. at least I think so. You could drop kick the guy off her, probably, or just go I'm like, just go grab him and just be like, stop! What the fuck? Yeah, start yelling. He's just obviously, he's in some sort of like episode or something like. Something that's, wrong with some. That's fucked up. That, that guy, but goddamn. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm a sucker for those videos, man. Oh, I know. Sometimes it's like one of those I videos watch, will come up and you'll watch it, and then you'll watch it again, and it's like, why am I, why am I entertained by this garbage, dude? <laughs> like, I don't know. The fight videos, man. Yeah, it's always been a thing I've watched. Just like, for you whatever remember, reason, I just like, I'm just like, ooh. You remember Kimbo Slice? Oh yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. when that shit first came out. I used to watch that all the time. That guy was crazy. And then he had that one fight where he like fought an ex cop, oh, and shit. they both of them like literally beat the crap out of each other. Yeah. Man, it was it's it like was gross, man. Rough. I feel like I couldn't watch that now. It was rough. But the wild west of the internet when it first came out, and it's yeah, like, there's those memes where it's like, what's the most extreme thing you can find? It was like sitting at fa- like it's like a guy just like it's like sitting at family dinner after watching like um, the Mexican cartel behead oh, someone on the yeah, internet or something. Right. It's like, oh fuck, just ruins your day. That's like the worst day. Is like you wake up and somehow or another you've you've been sent this video of like. I don't know, like a, somebody being punished by the cartel or something. It's like, and it just completely ruins your day. <laughs> it's like, holy fuck. And here I am complaining about my day, but I wonder how that guy's day went. Yeah. Like bulldog chopping his, chomping his wiener off or something. God Who knows? Damn. It's like, dude. It's terrible. That's oh, just freaking terrible. It's pretty gross out there, you know. Yeah. Yeah, those, those, those gross videos, man. There's all kinds of fucked up shit on the internet. Man. Yep. 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 Yeah. So, uh, and then in the update in Striker Land, we got oh, yeah, uh, new. Well, we got si- Simon's not with us. He's not traveling with us. He's flying there. So he's he's meeting yep. us there. He's got a couple other things to do in the um, air on the way. I think. Yeah. The princess, <laughs> princess, princess Simon, yes. had to take the first class flight and get a limousine from the fucking airport to the Airbnb <laughs> we're staying at. <laughs> Boy, oh boy! If we know anybody, I wonder if there's any striker fans in Midland. Don't think so. How big is Midland? Like, what's the population of Midland? It's not very. Eleven thousand. Eleven thousand. That's not too Damn. big. I mean, it's bigger than the town I was born in, though. Like double, more than double. It has a Costco. Oh, that's good. And apparently, they have craft beer at the Costco, Ooh. which is pretty cool. Knees. <laughs> is that what you were doing? No, no, I was doing more of a shun na 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 na. Oh shit! I thought your guns. You in were it. doing a shun na 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 knees. Type yeah, beat. guns in it. Type beat. Sheesh. Shun na 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 knees. Knees. Yeah. Dude. I mean, I think we'll get. You know, we'll get some good behind the scenes content and stuff. You guys are gonna see all kinds of stuff. Yeah, we'll try and make sure you guys them. sign up for the Patreon because not all of it's gonna be public. That's true. You know, yeah. It's we want to share as much as we can, but I mean, also we want to uh, yeah. reward the the Patreon uh, folks with some true. insider shit. It's true. It's how true. did they make that? You know what I should? How done? did they make that song sound so bad? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you will. We'll give you the secrets. 
bad. So you in a can good also way. make a terrible album. <laughs> bad in a good way. Huh? No, no, no. Once Josh puts his spin on it, it's going to be good. But before he touches it, it's going to be total garbage. Oh, Lord of mercy. So, yeah, Patreon. Because, you know, you can only see one side of my feet on this video. But in the Patreon. You get the 360 view on yeah, Patreon. Dude. You guys want the oh, full fucking You feature. better watch out. You want to see a whole slow-mo video of Tim eating a burrito that's double the size of his head? <laughs> oh, my God. Could you imagine? <laughs> what a treasure that would be for you mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to see that. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we might have been driving too long. We might have been. Yeah. You, if you guys notice it, do if we do we seem a little bit weird this time? I mean, it could be the fact that we just spend like uh, twenty hours in a van. You know. I mean, we do that on tour all the time, though. Listen to that uh, thing about oh. slavery. <laughs> Oh yeah! Wow, we we, yeah, we, we listened to some crazy that podcasts. Been too, that was like too heavy for the just driving around the fucking van. It might have been. We we, we listened to some crazy podcasts. That other audio the, the podcast today about conspiracy shit was like completely off the fucking rails. That was that crazy the first time train. I listened to that podcast and was just like, wow, this is fucking nuts. What was that podcast called? It was called War Mode. Guys, were, it just those guys up. were nuts. It dude. just popped up in my thing. It, like <laughs> when I went to podcast, it popped up as like a. You know, I guess a recommended thing. And then it was said Project Blue Beam. So I was immediately like, oh, fuck yeah, aliens. Alien tight. stuff. Yeah, alien stuff's always And then it was just like a totally unhinged conspiracy shit. Yeah, that was wacky, dude. The fucking, dude, anybody who starts talking about the firmament, where it's like, What's the firmament? that's like the, um, it's like the idea that there's some sort of dome over the earth. Oh, it's like a flat earth type thing. Okay, okay. Where it's like, okay, you actually can't, like nobody's been past the Ray Allen belts or something like that. It's like a whole th- oh. thing. It's like a, a classic conspiracy trope. I started like checking r- out. Ridiculous. As soon as they started talking about that space is not real, it's just a hologram that they're going to, that they're like fucking. They're just that's like Blue Beam, Project Blue yeah, Beam. They want to do a fake alien invasion. Projecting hologram. like holograms of aliens invading and like space isn't even real and all this shit. That's fucking wacky, man. I mean, who knows? Maybe it's true. I don't know anything about that. I've never been to space. I'm not a scientist. Who am I to say? I, can, I think it's pretty safe to say that space is <laughs> fucking it's real. Probably pretty real. Yeah. It's probably not the dudes who have done their Facebook research that are blowing the lid off of whether space is real or not. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. I think when Flat Earth uh, first came around, I thought it was really fucking funny. Like, because I love the idea that something so crazy could be a conspiracy theory. Yeah. It's like, could you imagine like actual? I didn't it, think it was actually real. Like, like people dude, actually yeah. believed it. I, I didn't. I think, I think so. what's so crazy about it is like it's so fun to think about. Imagine if that was a real conspiracy, and somehow, some way, they they the powers that be had tricked everybody into thinking that the world was a sphere when in reality it was not. It's like that's insane because like. When wow. when you think about that, it's like that's the least of our problems. If we can't figure that out, you know, shit. It's eh? Like you tell me, the entire population of the world who believes in science is all wrong about the Earth being fucking round. That's insane. It's like, it's what? pretty. It's pretty unlikely. I think. And yeah. then you just look at the the thing with with like the uh, the curve of the Earth. So it's like you put an obelisk at one place, and then you put an obelisk at another place. And the shadow is different. It's like, boom, yeah, there's yeah. the curve of the earth. It's, it's like, oh, that was easy to figure out. The fuck? Unless it was a disc with a slight curve on either side of it. What do you think about that? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Dude. My world well, how come is it's, falling apart. How come it's dark on one side? I, that's the funny part is like there, the sun is like a flashlight that's going around like this. And it's not really <laughs> like, what the? <laughs> None of it makes any sense. Dude. I think it's been well established that flat Earth is like bullshit. Very fucking funny, but it's it's pretty funny. But it's crazy because even when you when you drive south out of Edmonton, like there's a a big billboard that's flat flat Earth Alberta. Yeah, like somebody is promoting that. If like you, they're paying yeah. advertising dollars for that big banner that says flat out earth alberta like it, it's it's a thing people fucking care a lot about if, obviously if like you, yeah dude if you, do you drive that much about that dude, shit if you drive north to fort mcmurray yeah. there's a 
a sign that's been there for years that says, open your eyes, they're spraying the skies. And it's a wow. chemtrail thing. And it's been there for like at least 10 years. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Somebody nice. just invested in heavy advertising for that? I think it's just whoever lives on that land was just uh, like, could be, I'm putting yeah. up a sign. I'm tired of this shit. I'm putting up a fucking sign. A bunch uh, of freaking out farmers that are just like, yo, the world's fucking crazy. I don't know, maybe I got my cows. Spraying the skies. Who cares? I don't know, man. I, I just think, you know, even if, if any of that crazy shit was real, there's probably not a lot I can do about it anyway. And it's not really a way I want to spend my life and, like, spend all my energy on is, like, that <laughs> kind of shit. I'd rather make heavy metal music and just fucking have a good time and hang out with cool people. I don't know. Yo, I just <laughs> like, have an idea shit for, shit for Twitch. For our first, like, uh, venture into Twitch, should it just be like uh, sleep streams from the hotel room? <laughs> oh, that could be. <laughs> have bad. you seen those ones where they do like sleep streams? I have seen that. I don't know what. I don't know. Like regular live streams. It's just like people, they're, they're people just like sleeping mm. and then they're like, people are like watching them. I don't know. Some people have like multiple cameras in their houses for each room and like they, they like live stream their entire life like on a, on a fucking. That's that's crazy. It's, that's that's creepy shit. I imagine they probably there, turn it off when they're there's being, nobody watching intimate. that. Being like, this is very interesting. It's like, I know, it's right? just motherfucking be, motherfuckers being creepy as hell. Like, how long are you fucking sure. gonna watch something like that? Oh, they're they're cooking. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> they're cooking eggs now. Oh, cool. Oh, now one of them's going to the bathroom. Oh, camera cut out. Well, that's no fun. Okay, now what do they do? Oh, they're making a barbecue. Oh, they're having a barbecue. Cool. It's uh, like, dude, just have your own fucking barbecue. It's way more fun. Watch someone else do it. You know what I mean? Like, I Is it, know. though? What if you're not as cool as the person barbecuing? Oh, I don't care. I'd, st I'd still rather have my own barbecue over watching somebody cooler than me barbecue. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, I'll accept the fact that there's people cooler than me in the world. But my barbecue is more important to me than theirs. That's where I draw the line. That's fair, man. Cool, dude. Sweet. Well, yeah. I mean, we're only going to do... We're doing a shorter uh, episode because we got to yes. drive tomorrow, but we'll get yes, some more are. longer episodes in the pot, uh, in the stewed. In the stewed. <laughs> His studio. <laughs> We're I've been over everything. I've been overserved in the hotel room. We're gonna drive passing out the vehic down the highway and uh, go to the stud and uh, play some gits and uh, make some muse. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, sewed at the ho row. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peace. Later, folks.